couple of more guys, good. Okay, take a seat. Uh, although it would be nice to have a standing room only, but I think I like a standing, a sitting room only. <laughs> so, so sit down, relax, and enjoy. You know, okay. And if there are no no more seats, even can you take care of for uh, extra uh, chairs because uh, we don't want to. There is room uh, on a table to put extra chairs. Okay. What I'm trying to say here now is 50% duty ratio. I think they have a. a, a also 50 or 60 percent they'll have, let's say at 50 percent UT ratio, and let's say uh, uh, switching frequency is 25 kilohertz, like this case, and that's like uh, 40 microsecond, half of that is 20 microsecond. Well, let's say they make this resonance 20 microseconds, and during off period, it is just resonating. It cannot go negative, and I just started the key point why that is important, because uh, as you start, uh, that means that the waveform on the output always ends up at zero and never can go uh, uh, lower. What happens, the output also, you will see it, it has, uh, uh, when you change the load current, load current is actually exciting resonance and telling how much current, peak resonant current it was to take. So basically, if I uh, had a sudden change of step load from uh, 10 amps to 100 amps, well, this resonant current on the output will just reduce uh, sine wave magnitude 10 times or increase it 10 times next cycle. No, no more needing for a full, you know, eight, eight um, parallel buck converters to get the step load change. And to start with, I'll tell you, you know, that's my feeling. Buck converter in itself is so bad, and now having it end times, trust me, it is real bad. Okay, so, so now uh, when we do this, uh, then uh, step, for one thing, by definition, step load change will be fantastic. And I don't need a megahertz or two megahertz. I can do 100 kilohertz because whatever frequency I do, next cycle you will see it. I had actually some simulation, or, and they can do it. I, I think we'll do it next time, maybe by the time when the show starts on the five, or first case tomorrow, we'll have step low changes. You'll see what I'm talking about. So basically, it is really output current is exciting how much it wants to take next cycle, and the transient is really right there, you know, in one single stage. No more many stages, etc.